Lawrence, what a discovery, and I believe it was it was you who made it. Yes, uh, it was me and my team. Um, we uh, it took a lot of ground-based observing and a lot of modeling and all, so it was quite a team that actually made the discovery. I got to lead it because I've been in the field a long time. So, so tell us what you saw and, and, and what did, was, was evidence that you'd actually discovered this planet that had two suns. Well, uh, basically what Kepler does, it's kind of a wide-angle version of the Hubble Space Telescope, and it's in space, and basically what it records is the brightness of stars. So what happened is we saw two stars that orbit around each other, and those are called eclipsing binaries. And then in front of those two, there was a planet that went across all of them. So in other words, the planet was orbiting in exactly the same plane as the two stars. So the two stars orbiting around each other actually um, have a planet orbiting both of them at the same time. And we saw when the planet went in front of the two stars, we saw this double dip. That double dip was the planet. And tell me, Lawrence, what, what did you think when you, when you discovered this? Oh, well, it was pretty exciting because, you know, uh, what scientists like is exceptions to things. For example, if we find life on Mars, then we can compare it with life on Earth, and it may not have DNA and so on. So it, it tells us how, what are the general characteristics and what are the special characteristics. Well, in this case, it's about planetary systems. We've discovered a fundamentally different kind of planetary system. And so it's really exciting because that will have repercussions for us understanding our own planetary system by comparison with something really different. And I have to say it you wasn't have... very... I was just going to say I'm it wasn't very long. I'm sorry to interrupt. Yeah. It wasn't very long before we started calling it Tatooine, I might add. Well, that, that is exactly the point that I, I wanted to, uh, to talk about. You have nicknamed it uh, Tatooine uh, after uh, George Lucas's uh, Star Wars. I, I, I want to ask you, um, you know, something that was science fiction back in, what, 1977. You've now discovered it in 2011. Have you, have you contacted George Lucas to tell him this? Well, actually, yes. Uh, this morning at the NASA press conference, we had a representative of Industrial Light and Magic, John Knoll, and he sat next to me and we compared notes and, uh, yeah, George Lucas sent him down to uh, partake of the NASA press conference. And it was a lot of fun because, you know, you have to picture something before you can look for it. And uh, so we wanted to acknowledge that they were the thought pioneers that, you know, had enough faith in circumbinary planets existing to put the hero of Star Wars on such a planet. And so the least we could do is honor him when we find the real thing. Uh, exactly. I'm sure he was uh, uh, very chuffed. Uh, Lawrence, very, very quickly, can this, uh, this planetary system, can it support life? Well, no, it's uh, too far away. It's uh, essentially in the orbit that Venus is in our solar system. But the two stars it orbits, one's orange and one's red, are much smaller than our sun. So it's just outside. I would say it's about... The temperature on the planet's a really cold day in Antarctica at best.